Hello guys and welcome back. So let's start building the texture of the iris. To do that, I need a new graph. So right click here and new substance graph. And then I can call this guy iris. Okay, um, so again, I'm using my uh, pre-built template. Um, so to start with, I need to create one fiber of the iris. So this is gonna be a, let me just do a shape here. And I'm gonna look for like a parallel void and then I'm gonna go to the scale Y and shrink it down. So we have this like fiber shape. Okay, and then I'm gonna uh, warp one end uh, more than the other one. So a protein noise should be the one I use and that's gonna be used to, to warp. Let's see what we have here. Um, or maybe directional warp, I'm not sure yet. Maybe directional warp is better. Um, so directional warp, and that's gonna go to the protein noise. And we're warping it on the vertical direction. I can crack that up to 30. And then back here to the protein noise, I can lower down the scale. So that way we're just warping it this way to have this variation here. All right. Now I also wanted the warp to be happening on one end more than the other end. Uh, in that case, I can blend this pretty noise with a gradient color. Uh, and I want maybe, actually I like the results on this end, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna not warping this end that much. That means I need to uh, rotate this guy 90 degrees so that it's darker here. And then I do a blend to blend those two together. And that blend will be a multiply and that goes to the directional warp. So that way you can see this end is not warping uh, that much. A little bit is fun, uh, is fun to me. All right, and then I'm gonna pipe this through to a uh, splat circular here. And that goes to the pardon input. So we're gonna change the pardon to image input and I'm gonna rotate them, of course, so this way. And then I need, of course, a lot more, so um, 250, uh, maybe even more than that. Mm, let's see, maybe it's 512. All right, and then I can also make them bigger, so size-wise. Skill wise, can make them, uh, I don't know, four times bigger. Okay. Uh, and also go to the color part. I can have some luminous random. Okay. And also for the rotation, I can have uh, some rotation random. That's, that's already a little bit too much. And you can see they're all shifting uh, the same direction. So I have to, have to shift them back. And that's too much of a, variation already, so I'm trying to make that smaller. All right, and then afterwards, I'm gonna try to give it more variations. So I think I can, because they're, they're, they're really parallel to each other on the end, so I need to create some more variant. Um, so to do that, I think what I can do is this shape itself can be one variant. That's another one. And then maybe I can have another one and that's having the same direction warp. Um, yeah, just well, the same direction warp, but not that much of a warp. Okay. Uh, and let's see if those three are good enough already. So back here to the splat circular, I'm gonna change the part input to be three possible variant and that's going to be the three one two three okay that way they're not the same anymore um also back here to the to the directional warps uh, intensity right this one i think maybe i can grab those two and hit x to swap those and go to the blend and lower down the opacity so that way we're not actually just trying to only warp the bottom that much, but also the front a little bit. Okay. 
they're still looking a little bit more generic than I want them to be, but I will, I'll take care of that later on, probably. So go down here to the radius, I can make them bigger so that we have bigger uh, pupil. We can also go to the uh, size, a scale random to have some random scale. And then we can go to the scale to crack them up just a little bit. I want this to touch the edge more or less. Um, yeah, back here to the rotation, I want to balance it a little bit more. And maybe I can lower down the size X a little bit to make the pupil bigger. And then radius to be bigger. All right, cool. Now after this, I can create another warp node so that uh, I can warp it with a pearly noise. And this pearly noise will have a smaller scale and that goes to the input of the gradient input. And then we're gonna warp it, I don't know, 10 times. <laughs> That's too much actually. So lower that down until we got something that is a little bit more, uh, you know, bricked up. Go to the splice circular. Maybe I can even I can even make the radius bigger. Over the edge, maybe. All right. So um, let me go to the size X and extend it back. And maybe just slightly smaller radius. All right. So one thing I want to do is make the edge more rounded. To do that, I could just brute force. Uh, brute force it by doing a shape node. And then I can choose the parabolic and then do a curve node after it to make double click and drag that drag that point up to make this, uh, this circular shape. And we just basically multiply that on top, okay, to force it to be rounded. Okay, and that goes to the transformation 2D. We can right click and view output in 3D. I can see that's what we have. Maybe I can visualize it uh, on a plan Harris. Okay, they can see, well, this is pretty much noticeable over here. I don't like that. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have. I, I think that's, that's that little thing over there. So to get rid of it, I can go to the pearly noise I create a transformation 2D after after it. Okay, so that way I can grab this guy and I can go to the transformation 2D and just move it to visualize what's going on and I can tweak the shape so that I'm able to find some point that doesn't have that. Okay, I guess it's fun. Can change the opacity, go up a little bit. So basically I'm trying to make this fiber that is more straight in the middle and having more variation on the edge. It's it's varied, it's not that um, similar to each other either. So that's all the, what we're trying to do here with all the pearly noise with warp. Uh, with warp. And then we use this guy to eventually make it uh, completely circular by using the curve node. All right, so that's gonna be the first step. Uh, we make the fibers, right? So let's move on to the next video and we, we can talk about how we uh, advance with this to, by adding more layer of stuff on top. Okay, see you next time.